Welcome, I'm Leanne. I'm gonna lead you through this chair yoga class today. So come sit comfortably in your chair. You are welcome to rest back against the back of your chair and hopefully your feet are just comfortably on the floor. Okay, and then we're just, we're just gonna rest here for a few moments. Okay, you can close your eyes. You can feel the chair underneath you, the parts of your body that are resting in the chair. You can feel the floor underneath your feet. And can you sense into the space around you? To what's in front and alongside and behind above and below you. And then sensing within you. Just noticing what it feels like inside you today. So we're arriving here, feeling our body, just noticing what's present. Okay, bringing some of our air element into this practice today. So imagine a pleasant breeze just blowing through you. So it's adding some lightness as it moves through you. Warm breeze takes with it tension, worries, whatever else you're ready to let go of at this time. And just let it be a light cleansing breeze so that you feel a little lighter, a little more at ease. We're going to bring this feeling into practice today. Okay, so right where you are, so you can still have your back resting against the chair. We're going to begin to move the shoulders though. So you can let the shoulders come up towards the ears and then come down towards the seat of your chair. So just lifting and lowering shoulders. And what you'll feel perhaps is the shoulder blades moving on the back of the chair. And so there'll be that feedback between your body and the chair as you move your shoulders and your shoulder blades up and down. And you try then to let the shoulder blades come in towards each other and then move away from each other. The shoulders come in towards your spine and then away. Okay. And then you can begin to roll the shoulders and they can roll backwards. They can move together or one at a time. Just roll the shoulders backwards. Feel how that moves the blades against the chair. And then try rolling the shoulders forward. And then we're just gonna let the shoulders relax. So just let them fall down. So your arms could be resting in your lap or alongside you. Can you just come off though the back of the chair? So you're not leaning back anymore. You let the left ear come over towards the left shoulder. So we're letting the head fall towards the left and then switching sides. So head falling towards the right. Okay. Bring the left ear back towards the left shoulder. So arms are resting. And one more time, right ear over towards the right shoulder. Softening your jaw, your eyes. And then bring your head to neutral. Okay, setting a little further forward if you like. Let your arms hang beside you. You're gonna roll them so your palms face outward. And then take a breath in and lift your arms up so those palms are coming towards each other. Exhale, palms facing down, lowering the arms down. Okay, inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lowering down. 
So just moving arm bones in shoulder sockets. Inhale and lift. And exhale and lower. Do one more. So inhale up. Exhale down. Okay, leave the right hand down, lift the left arm up. So your right hand could come to your hip or your chair. And then tip over to the right side. Come back to the center, switch your arms. So left arm down, right arm up, tip to the left, opening up the right side. Okay, one more time each way. Right hand down, left arm up, tip to the right. And left hand down, right arm up, tip to the left side. So open up the right side. Great, okay, come on back to neutral. So neutral spine, bring your hands together at your heart. So see if you can align your fingers and your thumbs and your palms. And then we're gonna slide the hands upward. So you're bringing your forearms towards each other as close as you can in the front of your body. And then you're gonna let your elbows come wide apart and the hands come back down in front of the chest. So lift up, bring the forearms as close as you can. And then let elbows go down and wide apart. And there's that little stretching for the wrists. Come on up again. And then elbows drop, elbows open. Okay, one more. So keeping the palms together the whole time if you can. Up. And then elbows wide, palms together. And then flip the hands the other direction. So now your fingers are pointing down and the backs of your hands are together. Drop your shoulders and your elbows so that your wrists get a stretch in the opposite direction. Okay, let your hands come apart, circle out your wrists. And you can change directions. Okay, and then just relax, relax your shoulders. Rest your arms, turn your head to the left, and then turn your head to the right. Just feeling into what that feels like today. Come on back to the left side, taking your time. Relaxing shoulders, softening around your eyes. One more time to the right. Bring your head back to neutral. So from here, we're going to turn. So start by turning to the left side. So you're going to rotate your rib cage over towards the left. Can you bring your right hand to your left leg? So your left hand could be at your hip or it can come onto the seat of your chair if you like. So turning to the left, breathing. And then we'll turn to the right. So come all the way, turning the heart towards the right side. Left hand is over onto the right leg. Feet are flat on the floor. Just let your breath come down low in your body. Just easy breaths. Unwind your turn, so you're back facing forward and we're gently gonna tip forward. So see if you can roll your pelvis forward, bring your belly forward and your heart forward. So you could bring forearms to thighs and just rest your arms into your legs. I'm just turning so you can see. Okay. If you know that it's safe for your back and it feels okay, you can fold further down if you like, letting the hands come down to the floor or down to the feet. And can you feel your breath there? Maybe in your back, into your tummy. Doesn't have to be a big breath. Just can you feel it moving in and moving out?
And we're going to press down through those feet and lift ourselves back up. Okay, let your arms lift up in front. So forearms and palms are facing each other or all the way together if you like. You're going to take a breath in here and let the elbows come wide. And then as you exhale, bring those forearms and palms back together in front of you if you can. So inhale and open, breathing in and out through the nose. Exhale, bring those forearms together. So do two more. One more round. Inhale and open. And then exhale and forearms come in. Lovely. Relax your breath. Relax your arms down. So from here, you're going to reach back with your hands. Now, depending on your chair, you might be grabbing the back of the chair or the back seat of the chair, or you could interlace your fingers behind your back. And you just gently open up through the front of the body. So a really gentle little back bend here. Let the shoulders fall, the collarbones can widen. So there's just this little stretch in through the chest. Okay, you could tip forward, keeping a hold of the chair or keeping the fingers interlaced behind you. So your back is still straight. You've just tilted forward, but you've left your hands back there. All right, lovely. So let that go. So back to a neutral spine and let the arms go. Let's come down into the hips and the legs a little bit. So pick up your left uh, foot and just straighten out that knee. So left leg is straight. And then put the left foot down, do the same thing with the right leg. So straighten the right knee. So just alternate at your own pace. You're turning just so you can see. So one leg straightens at the knee. So draw the top of the foot towards you and then put that foot down and do the other one. So there's a little stretch in through the back of the leg when the leg is straight and the front of the thigh all around the knee getting stronger as you straighten it. There's not a lot of movement at the hip, right? We're moving at the knee. You're going to keep the left leg up and just circle the left ankle. So just move that left foot around the ankle. You can switch directions once in a while. Okay, put that foot down, switch feet. So lift up the other foot and move at the foot at the ankle. So circle around. Changing directions. Okay, bring that foot down. So you have both feet on the floor. Okay, so this time we're going to move at the hip and not so much at the knee. So come into your right leg and you're going to lift up the right thigh up off of the seat of your chair. So you're going to try to lift that knee up as high as you can, but you've moved at the hip. So put the right foot down, lift the left leg. So left foot down, right leg lift. So we're moving at the hip. Drop right and lift left. A couple more, just alternating. Just lift as high as you can. So your back is staying tall. Your shoulders are staying easy. Jaw is staying soft. You're just lifting that leg up as high as you can. And maybe you're just lifting it a tiny bit. Just do your best. Okay, finish with lifting your left foot up and then bring your left foot back down. So you've got both feet down on the floor. Bring your tummy and your heart forward, so tip forward. So forearms to thighs and rest, just gently creating some length through your back. And if it feels safe for your back and you wanna round forward, you can. Okay, slow breaths.
push down through your feet, lift yourself up. Okay, from here, we're gonna come up to standing. So scoot yourself forward on the seat of your chair. Let your arms reach forward at shoulder height. Okay, feel your feet on the ground. And give your toes a wiggle. You can feel the floor underneath your heels. Okay, we're gonna let our weight tip forward. So bring your, your torso forward into your feet. Keep going into your feet. And then when you're de-weighted enough through your seat, you're gonna let your weight come all the way into your feet so your seat is up. And then you're gonna push down and come up. All right, so stand beside your chair. So your the right side of your body is next to the chair on the right side. And you can you can bring your right hand to the back of the chair. So what we're going to do here is we're going to step the left foot forward and the right leg backward. Now both feet are flat. So right leg, you can see that right thigh is turned out just a little bit. Okay, and our feet, you can think of them as on separate railway tracks. So we are facing forward. Okay, now bend the left knee. So you can have the hand on the chair or not, up to you. Let's bend the left knee. So keep the right foot flat. So it's getting us a little bit of a stretch in the front of the right hip, a little bit stronger in the legs. So we're sinking down. Okay, straighten the knee to so relax for a moment. Sink back down. If you want a little more this time, take your left arm and let it lift up. If you want a little more, you're going to tip towards that chair. So your arm, right arm could be on the back of the chair or the hand could be on the seat of the chair. If you don't want the hand on the chair, bring the hand to the hip. So you're tipping towards the right. Lovely. And then come on back up. Let the arm come down, straighten the front leg. You can step your feet in. So that chair is still beside you on the right side. Balance in your left foot and come to tree pose. So you're going to turn the right knee towards the chair. So the heel can stay on the inside of the left leg and the toe could stay on the floor. Or you can have the right foot fully up on the inside of the left leg. You're using the seat, the chair just as much as you'd like to. So you can maybe have a finger on it or the hand could hover above it. Okay, can you lift the left arm up? And maybe try just tipping again towards the chair, just a little bit. It's right there for your right hand if you need it. Okay, and then come on back so that you're tall. Let your left arm go, step your right foot down to the floor, and then we're gonna walk ourselves around the other side of the chair. So now you've got the chair on the left side. Okay, right foot forward, left foot back, both feet are flat, left thigh is turned out a little bit. Bend the right knee. straighten the right knee so relax and then bend it again if you want a little bit more can you lift the right arm up keep the shoulders easy see if you can straighten that elbow and if you want to play with a little bit more if that feels like it would be a light thing to do today then tip towards the left side and just opening up the right side a little bit creating some more space, some more openness. Still able to breathe, still listening to the body. Come on back to where you're vertical. Relax the right arm, straighten the right leg, step your feet together. We're gonna balance again and we're gonna come into tree pose. So stand in your right foot, turn your left knee towards the chair. So left big toe on the floor or foot up on the inside of the right leg. Okay, maybe a little less weight through the left arm. Let it be play, let it be light. And if today you've got a fingertip there or a couple fingers, that's okay. 
your body is still learning to balance. It's still building that strength. Okay. Do you want to try bringing the right arm up? Do you want to try gently tilting towards the left? Little tiny side bend. Little less weight through the left arm. Okay. Let go. So step your left foot back to the floor so you got both feet on the ground. Okay. And then come back and sit in your chair. And lower yourself back down. Lovely. All right, so feet on the floor again. We're just gonna come into the feet a little bit. So can you lift a heel up? And then put that heel down and then lift the other heel up. Okay. Just alternate. So you may find that you want the feet a little bit more underneath you here to give you a better stretch. See if you can keep your big toe, some of your toes on the floor there as you lift your heel up. You can also feel what's happening when you lift the heel, what happens to your lower leg, right? What happens in your calf muscle. Okay, bring both heels down when you're ready. Bring your heels further out. So your legs straighten a bit, so your toes are up off the floor. So can you spread your toes apart from each other? And then you're gonna curl them in like you're trying to hold pencils with your toes. Okay. So curl your toes, spread them out, and then curl them in. Okay, now do the same thing with your hands that you're doing with your feet. So spread out the fingers and the thumbs and the toes and then curl everything in. So squeeze the hands, squeeze the toes. Spread fingers and thumbs and toes, and then squeeze the hands in. So do two more. Stretch open, spreading the toes, spreading the fingers wide apart, and squeeze in. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Okay, one more. Squeeze, curl in, tight, 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 and then relax. So wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. You can move at your ankles and your feet a little bit. Move at your shoulders if you like. And then just, just be still for a moment. Bring your hands to your heart. So you place one hand on the chest and then stack the other hand on top of it. And just take a moment, close your eyes. And just let your awareness come into the space in you, into your heart space. Feel what you feel there. What do you notice? Okay, now let that go and get comfortable in your chair so you can Shift yourself further back so that you can rest back into your chair. You can bring your feet up if that's a more comfortable position for you. I'm just gonna do a little bit of a relaxation. So you're shifting your body so that you feel supported. Closing your eyes. Letting go. So letting go of effort, just releasing. And as that tension falls away, can you notice your breath and simply follow your breath for a few rounds. So breathe in and out through your nose. Just easy breath in, easy breath out. So it's gentle, it's slow. Breaths moving through your body so that you feel like you're being breathed by the breath. Letting go. 
Letting go of effort, letting go of tension. Relaxing. So relax. We're going to come to the outermost layer, the things that are furthest from our center. So can you relax your fingers, your thumbs, your toes, your hands, your feet? Resting arms and legs, letting go, shoulders soften, hips soften, so your limbs are all relaxed. Okay, resting your head, your face. So soften your face, your neck. Come down into your torso. So you're resting your whole torso, the front of it and the back. Both sides of your torso. The pelvis can soften, the belly can relax. The chest, the ribs, the upper back. And then we can just come inward here into our heart space and just let the heart space feel relaxed, light, open so that it feels like air can circulate freely through this part of us. And we can let that healing energy circulate back out through our body. So from our heart all the way out to our outermost layer, and then maybe it comes all the way back in. Just that there's this flowing, gentle, easy movement going through you. When you're ready, whether that's now or in a few minutes, you can release your practice. And take a moment to notice how you feel. And then when you're ready, taking your time, moving as you would like to. You can stretch if your body wants to stretch or just move however it wants to move. And then when you're ready, moving back into your day. Thank you for practicing today.